All right, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for being here at this great event. And obviously, we're here to see the Gerald Desmond Bridge replacement project and the construction, and we've achieved a big milestone here. Uh, my name is Mario Cordero. I'm the executive director of the Port of Long Beach, and I will serve as your master of ceremonies this afternoon. Uh, now, it's quite windy here, so uh, not good for my hair and not good for my notes. So, uh, but with that, again, what a great day for us to be here in Southern California with this iconic bridge. And today we're going to celebrate the fact that the construction crews reach its highest point in this project. And the number that you have to remember is 515, 515 feet. There you go. This is what's termed, as I uh, told by our engineers, as topping out. So we are still working on this bridge to say, uh, obviously, but again, we've achieved a great milestone here. Uh, so what is 515? Let's put this in perspective. Uh, those of you who have been to Washington, D.C., uh, one of the great monuments we have in our, the capital of our country is the, 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 uh, the Washington Monument. This is just 40 feet shorter than the Washington Monument. So it tells you in terms of context that uh, we've had a great achievement here in terms of uh, this iconic bridge. Uh, this is the tallest structure in Long Beach, uh, no doubt about that, and will be the second tallest cable state bridge in the country. So again, quite an achievement and much to celebrate. We have several, several distinguished individuals here this afternoon with us. I'm going to go and read this list that's been given to me, so I apologize ahead of time if I... This has been off all that time? <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm a lot louder. Came in just in time when I'm going to honor the distinguished individuals we are, that, that we have here, right? So, first of all, we have Mayor Robert Garcia. who I will be introducing shortly, Councilwoman Janine Pierce, Long Beach City College Vice President Trustee, uh, Sunny Zia, California Transportation Agency Assistant Secretary Ben Del Alba, and of course the Transportation, uh, California Transportation Commissioners, beginning with Yvonne Burt. Yvonne, where are you? There you go. Fran Inman. Is Fran here? And third, Joseph Tevalogini. Did I say that correct? There you go. I did say it. He said yes. All right. Southern California AQMD Chair, Dr. William Burt. Caltrans Director, Malcolm Dowry. Malcolm, front row. And you deserve to be in the front row. Uh, I'll say later, what a great partnership we've had with Caltrans. And also, uh, District Director Kerry Bowen. Kerry, right there you go. U.S. Coast Guard Captain Charlene Downey. Captain? All right, I like that. I like that helmet. There you go. Uh, Federal Highway Administrator Vince Mormano. Vince? Metro Program Director Manager Rick Clark. Congressman Alan Lowenthal. There you go. Congressman Nanette Paragan. And State Senator Ricardo Lara. Assemblyman Patrick O'Donnell. And Assembly Member Mike Gibson and Los Angeles County Supervisor Janice Hahn. I will be um, uh, acknowledging President Bynum here. She'll come up shortly to introduce the fellow commissioners, President Bynum. Um, in addition, we welcome our federal, state, and local funding partners uh, who help deliver these funds and make this project a reality. Uh, I'd like to thank those organizations, beginning with the California Transportation Commission. Big applause for the California Transportation Commission. Number two, Caltrans, Federal Highway Administration. 
And last but not least, Metro in providing us this critical funding. And again, it's been a great partnership to see what you, go, what you see before you to make this happen. Also, I want to acknowledge the staff of Long Beach. We have many here and give them a big applause, but particularly I want to name two individuals, uh, or three actually, beginning with Dwayne Kanegi. Uh, he has our point person, our interim deputy director, who um, is very much uh, responsible for the success of these milestones. Uh, Sean Gamet, are you here, Sean? Managing director of our engineering. And as to construction management, who plays a great role for us, we have Mr. Wayne Smith. Wayne, where are you? There you go. In addition, our management, construction management contractors, WSP and Caltrans, who have worked right alongside with our staff as part of this team to continue this project uh, of what we term as the iconic bridge. And also the design builder, SFI. SFI consists of Shimmick Construction, FCC Construction, and Imprigilo. Let's give them a big applause. And the men and women who actually make this happen, who sacrifice their labor and uh, many aspects in terms of working this bridge 24-7, the men and women who spend time here from the trade unions to make this a reality. Let's give them a big applause. And you can see the trades listed in the banner behind me. So the representatives from all the organizations are here present, and thank you so much for taking this time. Lastly, I'd like to thank our tenants here at the Port of Long Beach uh, and the industry who have been part of, again, facilitating and uh, exhibiting the patience to uh, deal with what we have here in terms of uh, what it takes to build a uh, project of this nature. But the good news, when all said and done, uh, as the mayor will say, this is not just iconic for the port, it's iconic for the city, it's iconic for the region, and it's gonna be the iconic bridge for the nation. So with that, uh, again, the next stage of this will be the uh, important stage of the main span of the bridge. That will be the next milestone. So again, thank you all for your tireless cooperation and work and efforts to make this iconic bridge happen. And at this point, it is my great pleasure to introduce the visionary and the, the leader for the city of Long Beach, Mayor Robert Garcia. Hey everybody, how we doing? This is, uh, this is a very special day. Uh, for the city of Long Beach and for the region, of course, for our amazing port, and uh, it's 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 amazing. I mean, I've, I've been on this site before. I think maybe about six months ago or so, uh, and just the change that happens over uh, a few months is pretty incredible. And so it's very special to be here uh, and to really celebrate with everyone. I, I did want to take a moment. I know a lot of folks were thanked, and I want to thank, of course. Um, uh, Mario for for the great introductions of so many great people here, but there's a lot of a lot of uh, hardworking uh, men and women that are working on this site every single day. This bridge is being built by workers that are good that have good benefits, that can afford a good living for their family, and that are their blood, sweat, and tears are going into this amazing structure. It's all to all the men and women that are here that are building this amazing facility. Let's give them another round of applause, and I just want to thank you for your for your incredible work. Specifically, and I think, and I want to make sure that they're in, they're individually named. I want to thank our cement masons, local 500, our L our IBW local 11, of course, our iron workers 413 and 433, laborers local 1309, our operating engineers local 12, our carpenters, of course, and pile drivers, and of course our teamsters local uh, 166. Another round of applause for all those uh, hardworking guys. You guys are doing a great job. Uh, especially, of course, uh, a big thank you to all of our uh, amazing engineers and uh, management team, the construction team that's put this amazing project together. Uh, we're very, very excited. A few things that, that Mario said that I want to uh, reinforce. Uh, we're, we have incredible partners. Uh, obviously, as a Metro director, I'm also incredibly proud of the partnership with Metro, with Caltrans. I saw Carrie earlier, who I sit next to on the Metro board, uh, and her incredible support. And so to all of our partners, federal, state, 
uh, at the local level, all of our agencies, just thank you uh, for helping us through this project. It would not be possible uh, without a partnership, which is exactly what uh, what this is. I also want to thank personally our amazing Board of Harbor Commissioners for their leadership in guiding this project through and seeing it uh, to uh, completion, which we will all see together, uh, which is very exciting. And let me just also say that uh, this bridge is more uh, than an infrastructure project. Uh, we're building a new iconic structure, uh, not just for Long Beach, but for uh, the region as well. Um, I'm excited, of course, that this will allow us to grow our economic footprint here at the Port of Long Beach. But I'm also excited that it will serve as an icon and as a beacon uh, to folks coming up and down all the corridors in and out of Long Beach, which I think is very, uh, very gratifying uh, for all of us. This bridge will not only be an economic driver, um, but uh, as important to a lot of us, including myself, is uh, it will look amazing. It will be a great beacon of what this port is about, which is goods movement and moving cargo across America. And don't forget that this bridge is also going to look spectacular at night. Uh, we ensured that this bridge will be full of, I think, thousands of LED lights all up and down uh, this bridge. And so you'll be able to see it uh, from across the Southern California region as it really makes and changes the Long Beach skyline. So uh, we're really, really proud of that. And we want to thank all of you again uh, for your incredible work. I didn't look at my notes, so I probably missed everything I was supposed to say. Um, but in a, in a nutshell, again, thank you all. Uh, with this time, we're going to have our Harbor Commission President, uh, Luann Bynum, come on up. So let's give her a big round of applause. She's going to say some uh, words from our, our board. Hang on to your hats. Um, thank you very much, Mayor Garcia. Before I get started, I want to make sure that I have a chance to introduce our, my colleagues on the Board of Harbor Commissioners who have been so diligent in helping us to shepherd this project through. First of all, I'd like them to stand, please. Vice President Tracy Egoscu. Tracy. Commissioner Bonnie Lowenthal. And Commissioner Frank Colonna. Thank you very much. C Commissioner Secretary Lorianne Guzman could not be here today too, but um, she's been very involved in this project as well. On behalf of the Commission, I'd like to thank all of you for being here today. Many of you have been involved in this journey. I'm going to take this off. It's going to drive me crazy during this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there. Don't let me forget that. <laughs> Many of you have been involved in the journey of building this bridge project for years, and some of you are seeing it for the first time. But regardless of where you located in trying to put this project together, I think we all understand the significance of this project to our community. About 40% of the nation's goods come in through the Port of Long Beach and our neighboring port, the Port of Los Angeles. Both ports use this bridge, and a good portion of those imports, about 15 to 20%, travel over this bridge as well out to other areas in the California and the country. This fact makes this replacement bridge critically important to the economic engine that drives our city, our region, and the country. But it isn't just for cargo. We're thrilled also that the vehicles going over are commuters going between Long Beach and San Pedro. It'll benefit the whole re region. We are going to improve traffic flow as well as for our neighbors as well as for our truckers. And for those of you who cycle and walk, don't forget that we will also have the Mark Bixby Memorial Bicycle and Pedestrian Path with scenic overlooks. So take advantage of that too when this bridge is done. And keep in mind, this project is generating 3,000 construction-related jobs. Just a few of our wonderful construction workers are here today, so thank you again very much. It's very exciting. I'd also like to take the opportunity to thank our customers, the terminal operators, the ocean carriers, and the rest of the shipping industry stakeholders located here at the port for co cooperating with us and coping with us as we get through this construction project. This is major project is right in the middle of a very dynamic port that is busier than ever. I have to commend our industry stakeholders and our neighbors for collaborating with us to make this bridge happen. The finishing of the towers enables us to begin construction on the main span of the bridge, the portion that extends over the channel. 
behind you, you can see where they've just completed the westbound incline approach, right there, if you haven't taken a look at it yet. And behind me, on the other side of the channel, the westbound decline approach was completed over the summer. That means if you wanted to drive west on the new bridge, you would drive up the approach on this side, down the other side. But of course, there's a small matter of the 2,000 foot gap between the two. In the coming weeks, our builders will start on the process to erect the main span over the water, eventually connecting the approaches. It will be an awesome spectacle. And as the mayor said, it'll be awesome in more ways than just traffic. It'll be a beautiful signature iconic item for Long Beach. We plan to have those westbound lanes open for traffic as early as mid-2019. So this is all very thrilling and we're happy to be here today for this topping off ceremony. Thank you all for coming. Yay! Yay. <laughs> I won't forget my scarf. Now it's my pleasure to be able to introduce our next speaker, Mr. Malcolm Doherty, director of Caltrans, who's been very important to this project with, and with whom we have been working side by side to build this bridge. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Doherty. Well, good afternoon. How is everybody today? I'm going to echo uh, and reinforce the sentiments that everybody that uh, already expressed comments today because they were very appropriate comments. Um, and I'm going to put a finer point on just a, a couple of things. One, the magnificence of this bridge. A lot of numbers were given to you about the height. But let me tell you about uh, what my observations were flying in this morning and then also driving in today. You can see this bridge taking shape and you can also see how much this new bridge will dwarf the old bridge. Now I'm an engineer. It's certainly gonna be a spectacular bridge for the uh, city of Long Beach and the port of Long Beach. But for me, what's impressive is the construction work that we have done here that's been accomplished as well as the engineering work uh, that has been done. No major infrastructure project gets done without that effort. And and this is certainly a show of uh, expertise uh, beyond anything else we've got going on in the state right now from a construction standpoint as well as an engineering standpoint. And you can see our partners in the private sector that are building and designing this project as well as our partners coming together to be able to fund this project uh, and manage it. The second point I want to uh, talk about a little bit is, the, is that exact thing, the uh, partnerships. We have, a had, we have had an extraordinary partnership with the Port of Long Beach. No major infrastructure project goes uh, at, you know, smooth as glass in any situation, but certainly these mega projects have their challenges, and we have worked through those challenges to be able to achieve this milestone and then subsequently the completion of the bridge. So thank Thank you to the Port of Long Beach. Thank you to our partners. Uh, appropriate to clap for the Port of Long Beach and that partnership. Again, the partnership with the City of uh, Long Beach, the uh, LA Metro, and also the Federal Highway Administration in that funding, and Vince Momano is here representing that group. These projects don't get done without those partnerships. No one entity can build a project this size. Not the Port of Long Beach, not the Federal Highway Administration, not Caltrans. You have to come together to be able to put it, to be able to accomplish something of this magnitude and this feat. This, this infrastructure project, I think, exemplifies three things and why we should be investing in infrastructure in this country. One, we have a, uh, uh, an existing bridge that has certainly outlived its useful life. And I don't know if you realize this, but if you look up at that bridge, you can see a net under it. There's a reason for that net. That old bridge is not necessarily all intact with all the truck traffic that's going over, and that's to catch any of the debris that's coming off of it. We have worn this bridge out. We need to invest in infrastructure to be able to replace that bridge. This bridge also carries more traffic than it was ever envisioned to carry. It's exceeded its capacity to be able to serve the Port of Long Beach and the Port of LA. So this new bridge will also add capacity over the bridge as well as under the bridge so that it can accommodate the latest generation of cargo ships. That means economic vitality for the Port of Long Beach, the Port of LA, the City of Long Beach, the whole Southern California region, and therefore California. So not only are we generating jobs in building and designing this infrastructure, but it's going to be into the well into the future be generating jobs and economic vitality for the entire region because it will be increasing capacity uh, as well as uh, uh, for the region uh, above and underneath the bridge. So again, partnerships made this key. 
significant engineering and construction accomplishment that made this all, all come together um, and the creation of jobs and economic vitality for the entire region. So impressive accomplishment at this point of the, of, uh, the project, but we look forward to connecting um, the deck and then accommodating the traffic over it in the very fu near future. So again, to the Port of Long Beach and Mario, thank you very much, and to the city of uh, uh, Long Beach and also to all of our partners. Thank you and congratulations. Okay, Malcolm, very, very well stated. Uh, as you can see, the partnership is excited about this milestone, but again, there's much more to come. So with that, as we conclude this event, the ceremony, um, you know, we have some rather high winds, needless to say, so we're not going to be able to raise these flags as intended at this point. But however, as you know, we do have four flags here that are, or banners that are very important. Number one, of course, is the American flag, which honors this country of ours and the capability of what we can do when we have the political will to come together and build iconic projects. Uh, number two, the state of California. The state of California not only leads with regard to issues, whether it's climate change, but issues in terms of infrastructure and what the nation needs. This is the largest port complex in the nation. So what we're about to accomplish is, again, uh, second to none of anybody else in this nation. And then you'll notice here the evergreen tree. Uh, the evergreen tree, it's an ancient tradition in construction, which is specifically associated uh, with a project uh, in terms of its highest structural element. That tree symbol symbolizes that this bridge will be everlasting. And with that, I also want to recognize again the, the banners in terms of the construction trades that the, man that the mayor made reference to already, uh, a very important component. And last, I will say a couple things here with regard to, you heard the mayor reference the importance of creating jobs. Uh, number two, this is the bridge to everywhere. And I recall the poor Long Beach some years back, going back to Washington, D.C., when we were asking these funds to build this iconic bridge. And of course, anytime you're seeking funding, it's very competitive. But we did say back then, we're not building a bridge to nowhere. We're going to build a bridge to everywhere. And that's exactly what you, saw, you see here before you. The bike path, reference, President Bynum mentioned the bike path. Uh, I can't wait to get a bicycle up this bridge. More importantly, going down the bridge will be a lot easier. Uh, but again, we've already mentioned someone we could, uh, the leadership and Mark Bixby uh, who led that quest uh, in addition with the commission. Uh, and last, the lights. Uh, the mayor had a vision of having not only his iconic bridge be visible during the day, but visible at, at night, and I can't wait to display uh, what Long Beach has in mind in terms of this lighting infrastructure once the bridge is completed. So with that, this event closes, and again, thank you so much on behalf of the commission, on behalf of the Port of Long Beach, and again, uh, I can't wait to come back as we have the next milestone, and once this bridge is completed, uh, believe me, the state, the city have shown the nation this is why we're the largest port complex in the world, and this is why the Port of Long Beach is the Port of Choice. So with that, thank you so much.